a living wage of $1,500 for all local workers to take home every month. That's one of three proposed policies made by non-constituency MP Leong Mun Wai on behalf of the Progress Singapore Party in Parliament. He calls them long-term suggestions that will tackle the root cause of problems faced by Singaporeans, especially the middle class, like job security and a rising cost of living. A living wage would, in his view, also take care of essential workers who are often low-wage workers. Mr. Leong also suggested an immediate monthly levy of $1,200 on all employment pass holders in a move he says will level the playing field between Singaporeans and foreigners. This will even out what he calls a wage disadvantage against local workers as foreigners are not required to contribute to CPF. The party also recommended the government to fund all MediShield life and care shield insurance premiums. He said it's a big drag on people's retirement resources. Altogether, he says the PSP's three recommendations will incur additional spending of $1.5 billion. The government can decide whether it wants to reallocate existing resources to these recommendations or allow the additional spending to provide more stimulus for the recovering economy. We believe our recommendations will go a long way, helping to secure a foundation of financial stability and social dignity for Singaporeans. Only with this secure foundation can we really emerge as one people. Two ministers sparred with NCMP Leong Man Wai in Parliament over the Progress Singapore Party's suggestion of a $1,200 monthly levy on all employment pass holders. Minister of State for Manpower, Gan Xia Huang, defended the EP system, saying that the government regularly reviews it to rebalance the local and foreign talent mix. A blanket levy on EP holders is a signal to foreign investors um, that we don't quite welcome them bringing in um, their own talent. But we must try to strike a balance between globalization and building our own identity in Singapore and our future depends on it. If we start telling companies that they can invest but can only employ Singaporeans for the top jobs, we will end up chasing some of them away and thousands of good jobs for Singaporeans will be lost as well. Well, Mr. Leong then replied, saying that the Progress Singapore Party is in fact in favour of having foreign talent complement locals, but argued that current efforts to rebalance the jobs ratio is too slow. He raised the issue of some local banks employing foreigners to helm top roles. Why is there no succession planning again being done? over the course of the 20 years. Okay. And recently, another of our local bank has employed another foreigner to be the CEO. So what is MAS doing? I have said that during my time, in the 80s and the 90s, localization is almost a must okay, in our financial sector. Today, it is not, don't seem to be even a KPI in the MAS. His remarks prompted Transport Minister and Board Member of the Central Bank, Ong Yi Kang, to call Mr Leong's assessment of MAS grossly unfair to ignore everything that was discussed earlier. Both of them had a similar exchange during the debate on the President's address last September. Of course, we always wish there's a menu that say we get all the jobs, but yet no competition. But I'm sorry, there's no such menu. The menu is open up more competition, but we build capabilities and we can seize more opportunities. Mr Leong then withdrew and apologised for his comment on MAS, but he questioned why foreigners made up 30 to 40 percent of senior roles in retail banking. Mr Ong responded that it's because Singapore is a financial centre that's open and international. 